So my goals for our weight management challenge is to eat. And when I say that, I mean not capacity, but frequency. And then also to eat things that are more nutritionally dense. With my day-to-day -day and uh, my schedule, I oftentimes find myself lacking in the number of meals. I've eaten and also lacking in its their nutritional content. And so that definitely has an impact on how much I'm able to lose and how I'm able to uh, maintain my weight. We have to remember that in order to lose weight, your body actually does need good nutrition uh, to lose weight in a healthy way, that is. And so that's how I want to lose weight. So my goal is to eat the number of meals that I should have a day, including snacks, uh, and for those meals that I have and snacks to be nutritionally dense. For me, it's going to be in the planning and uh, in the uh, setup so that I can actually have food at my disposal because it comes back to time for me. So if I have not pre-planned and organized myself and prepped my meals, I have found myself and continue to find myself lacking just the opportunity to have food around me at my disposal. And thereby, when I'm hungry, the first thing I see, I'm going to put in my mouth. Um, if I've skipped breakfast and I've skipped lunch and now it's around three, four o'clock, which, you know, sad to say, is not an unusual thing for me and I have not eaten anything, I am famished. I'm actually starting to go into um, kind of like a starvation mode. And so my body is just going to want whatever there is to eat. And that's what I do. Um, but the better thing is my body also during that mode is retaining, is holding on to the weight that I would love to get rid of because I'm allowing myself to go into those modes too often and stay in those modes for uh, too long. So for me, it's the meal prepping and organizing myself in a way in which I don't find myself in those positions where I actually just don't have anything to eat except something that's poor nutrition in front of me. So the first thing we discussed was what are those nutritionally dense foods? Uh, what are those foods that are going to help me stay full longer and are easier to prepare? Uh, and then I, what I like to do. Um, so I love salads. I could eat a salad, honestly, for breakfast. I could eat a salad for lunch and dinner. I could actually eat a salad for snacks. But my salads, I like to call them trash can salads. I literally just put whatever in my salad, whether it's fruit, vegetables. Um, I'm not a big meat eater, but if I have a lean protein, I do like to put them in my salads. I love nuts, um, berries dried or fresh. Um, so whatever I see, I like to put in my salad. And so I can make it very dense. Um, and using superfoods also helps um, to make it even more dense. So using a kale as opposed to a, a lettuce, uh, adding walnuts for my protein or even like a avocado for my protein. So we talked about what are those superfoods that I can have at my disposal uh, and put in my salads and eat when I am hungry, uh, at the, um, even on the go. Um, we talked about ways for meal prepping, doing... Um, uh, salad in a jar. So basically prepping my salads in a jar um, at the beginning of the week so that during the week, I'm able to take it along with me and I have a salad to go. Uh, and I could do that in multiple jars and have that ready for me. Uh, and then also for the times that I snack, you know, keeping in my bag um, healthier snacks that are easy to eat uh, and then easy to keep. Um, so having a, um, a protein bar, a protein bar that does have good, healthy nuts in it, um, is a wonderful way to keep me full during those times that I'm snacking, but also it's easy for me, easy for me to eat. It's going to be the prep time. <laughs> it's going to be the prep, but you know, I think there has to be in everyone's life times where we're trying, we, where we intentionally make efforts to improve things for ourselves. And so for me, it's going to be making this intentional effort to prep something that helps me. I do spend most of my free time um, doing other things for other people. 
And so that's not a bad thing. I think we should all help others and we should all do for others as much as we can. Um, but we all sh we should also find ourselves high on that list. And I do preach it a lot. I don't always practice it. And so that's going to be the hardest part for me. Um, I haven't mentioned exercise a lot because I do move a lot with both my job and my um, and the kids and just my work in general. But that's my next step. Once I get this, um, my nutrition a bit under control and being intentional with that is really putting in my day-to-day -day schedule uh, intentional time for exercise. And that time is also uh, a time in which um, I feel that I'd be able to have a bit of mental therapy too, because not only am I exercising my mind, but I'm allowing my brain to get all the junk out of it that's been um, placed in it through it into it throughout the day, all the stressors, all the angst, anxiety, all that can kind of dissipate while I'm exercising. I used to be a big runner. I used to love to run. And as time has gone on and my schedule has changed, that's gone by the wayside. Um, I don't know if I want to run as much as I used to or as far as I used to, but I definitely want to incorporate uh, the time that I used to spend on myself um, back into my routine, my routine day to day. Thank you.